Today, we will show you how to troubleshoot the best control system. For service and maintenance, we recommend installing a ball valve after the system discharge. Please keep in mind the following. The best control system is recommended for flooded applications, not boosting. The starting pressure of the controller is fixed at 22, 32, or 42 psi. Please keep in mind the 25 psi rule, which we will explain later in this video, and always read the owner's manual. There are two situations to troubleshoot. The first is that the pump does not turn off, and the second is that the pump does not turn on. For the first situation, in which the pump does not turn off, if there is a tap or faucet open and the system is working, then the pump should shut off just a few seconds after you close the ball valve. If this happens, the system is working perfectly, which means there might be a leak elsewhere in the installation. However, if you close the ball valve and the pump keeps working, there could be an issue with the controller. In that case, you will need to disassemble the system. Remove the piping, remove the controller, and clean the controller by flushing clean water and moving the check valve to remove any debris that might be stopping its normal movement. For better understanding, this is how the controller operates. You can see a check valve at the bottom and one at the top. The one at the top is the one that controls the operation. Both valves should be able to move freely. The spring is fixed and adjusted for a specific startoff pressure of the system either at 22, 32, or 42 psi. Next, reassemble the system. Put the controller back in place, attach the pipes, and test again. If the problem persists, please contact us at 954-474-9090. For situation two, in which the pump does not turn on, check all electrical connections. If the pump was working normally before, check if it is in failure mode. There are a couple of reasons why the pump would be in failure mode. Either A, the pump ran dry, or B, the pump's maximum pressure does not meet the 25 psi rule. In case A, if there is no water at the source, the pump will go into failure mode. Normally, the pump will try to turn on automatically five times within one hour to try to resume normal operation. If there is no water available, the pump goes into failure mode. Make sure that there is water in the source and press the restart button on the controller or unplug and plug the system back in. The system should resume operation. In case B, when installing a best control controller on a pump, keep in mind the following. The difference between the shut off pressure of the pump and the starting controller PSI setting must be at least 25 PSI. This is known as the 25 PSI rule. For example, if the shutoff pressure of your pump is 60 psi, then the maximum starting pressure controller should be the 32. You could also use the 22 psi since the difference between the shutoff pressure is still greater than 25. However, if the shutoff pressure of your pump is 50 psi, you will have to select the 22 psi version. Also keep in mind that the elevation between the controller and the highest faucet cannot be more than 50 feet, 70 feet, or 90 feet depending on the controller model selected. Otherwise, the controller will never operate properly. If the problem persists, please contact us at 954-474-9090. Thank you and have a great day.